Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can integrate your app with Consoli Ads. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to know how to integrate Consoli Ads SDK in native Android app. First, sign into your Consoli Ads account. Download the mediation SDKs and sample project from the portal. For convenience, I've already downloaded them. We also need to download the other ad networks SDKs and for that we will go to documentation and then click on download ad network SDK section and download the required SDKs of our choice. For now we'll be integrating Unity, Facebook and AdMob. Download your required SDK and unzip all the packages. Now let's open the sample project. I'll go to Android Studio, open an existing project select the path of the sample project and open it. Now let's wait for the project to sync. As you can see, due to the missing dependencies, the sync failed. So let's go ahead and add them first. Go to the project and add the missing R files to the lips folder inside app. As you can see that there is no such folder as lips. I'll go ahead and create one. Now simply copy and paste all the R files into lips folder. After adding the R files, you need to create your app on portal. So let's go to apps and then new app. Here you will find two options. You can either import an app directly from store by entering its URL, package name, or app ID. Or you can click create manually and fill in all the details and click save. Now you will need to choose a brand. Brands are basically containers for apps. You can either choose one from existing brands or create a new one. It is mandatory to provide a brand name and support email. You can also fill in rest of the details or skip them. Now that you have filled in all the details, go ahead and save it. Your app is successfully created on Portal. Just go ahead and click Finish. As you can see, it says that it is not integrated yet. So for that, you need to configure server. But before configuring server, you need to make sure that you have added the dependencies of added R files to app level Gradle as well. So I'll just open the documentation and go to add remove add network section and add all the required dependencies to my Gradle. After creating your app and adding all the dependencies, you just need to configure server. Configure server basically syncs our project with the app we just created on portal. Now I'll just go to configure server section. We need the following things to successfully configure server. User signature, app package, and platform. In order to get these, click on your name and then go to personal info in the top right corner and copy the user signature. The app package and platform, you can get it from the app details. Now that you have gathered all the information, just simply open terminal, copy and paste the following line there. Make sure that you have Java installed on your system already. Also, you need to make sure that you have initialized Consoli Ads mediation. You need to provide your app's product name and bundle identifier as Consoli Ads dot instance brackets dot product name is equals to your product name and Consoli Ads dot instance brackets dot bundle identifier is equals to your package name. Here, I have a separate class for that called config dot Java and I will simply replace the product name and bundle identifier. Now, I'll just go to the terminal and press enter so that the app is configured. It says sync successful. Now I'll just go to the portal to see if it says the same. And yes, now the SDK info says 5.7.3, which means the sync is successful. As this is the sample project, I've already added all the calls in my code to successfully show ads. As you can see here, I am using the product name and bundle identifier from my config.java class and the line consoliads.instance brackets.initialize to initialize the console ads mediation. Furthermore, in order to show ad of any type, we will go to the relevant section in the documentation 
and then copy the required line of code and paste it accordingly. To know more about all these calls, please refer to our documentation. Finally, go to the placeholder and ads tab and add some ads for each ad type and build your project. When in placeholders and ads tab, select the ad type that you want to add, then go to the relevant scene, click new ad, choose the ad network of your choice, select region and click save. After adding different ads to my scene, I'll go ahead, build my project, and run on a mobile device. I'll choose a scene index, then click init, console the ads, to initialize the SDK, then simply click show interstitial to show an interstitial ad.